Welcome to Things I've Learned from My Friend God, where what I've heard in darkness I now speak in the light, and what I've heard Him whisper in my ear, I am shouting out from the rooftops. Enjoy. Today is September the 7th, 2020, and on the seventh day, God rested from His own labor. And in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 10, the Lord says, Whoever enters into God's rest also rests from his own labor, just as God did from his. So on this Labor Day, we are actually celebrating the fact that on the seventh day, God rested from his own labor. And in that verse in Hebrews, he's reminding us that the one who enters into his rest, his tranquility, his peace of mind, that that person is the one who has stopped fretting, worrying, the one who has stopped trying to make their own way and trying to make things happen, as opposed to placing their labor in an area of believing so we labor to believe to enter into God's rest. That's where the real work is. The real work of our labor is in our faith walk. It's in our believing. It's in our learning to trust God. That's where the real work is required. And so this morning, he actually woke me up at 545. And I literally woke up whispering the words, his timing is perfect. His timing is impeccable. And lying there on my pillow in the darkness, I'm hearing my own self say that out of my sleep. His timing is perfect. His timing is impeccable. I repeated it so much to the degree that I realized that God was trying to tell me something, but speaking it through my own mouth. So I raised up off my pillow, went into my area to pray, my prayer closet to pray. And I couldn't relent from saying that one phrase, his timing is perfect. His timing is impeccable. And the longer this went on, I was drawn into a place of praise and worship of, of the Lord for his perfect timing and for his timing being impeccable. And then he took it up a step further. He said to me, Liberty, look up the word impeccable and instead of being presumptuous, because I've actually done that in times past where he's asked me to do something, and I'm like, well, Lord, I already know the answer to that, and wondering why he's asking me. This time I just went straight to it. And he says, look up the etymology of impeccable. And to my surprise, impeccable actually means, the etymological root of impeccable is not capable of sin. It blew me away. It means not capable of sin, not liable to sin, faultless. And so the Lord is reminding me to remind you that his timing is flawless. His timing is without fault. His timing has no sin in it. His timing will not miss the bullseye. He has timed everything perfectly down to the millisecond, to the very moment, to the very breath of something. And so I pray that God perfects that which concerns you because that's what he says in his word, that he will perfect that which concerns you. Everything going on in your life, everything going on in your city, in your neighborhood, in our country, he says, I will perfect that which concerns you. And it reminds me about God's timing for the Lord, his shepherd. The Bible says, at the right time, Christ died. So conversely, if there's a right time for him to die, there was also a wrong time for him to die. There were many times they sought Jesus out to kill him right? But he was only going out through the cross. So according to God's perfect, flawless, impeccable timing, Christ went to his death 
at the cross, but it was at the right time. So if God times everything like that, what are you worrying about? Don't worry. Don't fret. Don't wring your hands. Don't lose sleep. But do your laboring in the Word of God, laboring that you may too enter into His rest, His peaceful, tranquil state of mind. Thank you for listening to Things I've Learned from My Friend God. And if what you've heard has been a blessing, I would so love to hear from you because we actually grow in the context of community. I can be reached through my website, libertydawnunited.com. And if you'd like to support this ministry, you can make a donation through the site by clicking the PayPal icon. I can also be booked for live sessions or Zoom through the website. In the meantime, get into your secret place with God where he shares his secrets with his friends. God bless you.